We've already gone through multiple examples of using data reference types to link various items to attributes. Let's go through the final example of using URI Builder, often used for creating links to element-specific PyVision displays. Here we have a line one inlet pump display that we've created. And since our various lines are created from templates, we also created this display so that we can easily switch between the different lines without having to create multiple displays. Here I can go to line two, and I can also go to line three. But for each of these displays, I actually have the same URL up here at the top. It's the pump display on our PyVision server. Let me go ahead and make a copy of that link, and we're going to use that in just a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and close the browser. From the PyVision installation and administration guide, we can see how the base URL for our, that display is actually built. We start with the name of the web server, which for us was PySR v01, and then the website by default is usually PyVision. Our display ID was 1, since that's the first display we've created on this PyVision server, and the name of the display for us was Pump Display. Now what we'd really like to do is to create a link that can send us directly to a specific version of that display. I'll let it be line 1, 2, or 3. And that's done with URL parameters. You add a question mark at the end of your URL to be able to add parameters to it. And then the one we're going to be using is the asset path. And that's often used when you want to switch between related assets that share the same PyAF template. And here's an example down here, adding the question mark, then the word asset with an equal sign, and then the full path to the specific asset that you want the display to go to. For us, what that's going to look like is we're going to have a URL that starts out with our base URL, just before the question mark. And then we have three examples of how we would be able to create URLs that would bring us to specific versions of the display for line one, two, or three for our inlet pump. Let's go into AF and build this out for our inlet pump template. On the general tab, you can see we're using the pump template. So I'll go into the library, onto the pump template. And let me right click and say new attribute template. And here I'm going to say, let's say pump details display URL. Under data reference, I'm going to URI builder and I'll click on settings. And it asks for a template for configuration, and it wants an example URL. And this is the base URL that I copied from our browser. Let me click Continue. And it splits the URL up into the PyVision website portion and the display portion, and knows to add the pound sign back in. And then it asks for what additional parameters do we want. It automatically puts the question mark in, and then puts the asset equals section, and then does a link to our AF server, database, and the element path that references the element that we are currently going to be in. It would be line one inlet pump. So let me click OK. And then let's go over to our element, our inlet pump. And here you can see that we now have a new attribute called pump details display URL. And it's specific to the line number and inlet pump that we're on. And here's the asset portion. And in it knows to switch some of the uh, backslashes and spaces into something that's compatible with your browser. And you can see here that it does say line one, inlet pump. And then if I switch between the different lines, they're automatically on line two, inlet pump here, and then the final one, line three, inlet pump. And it updated automatically right here. Now, there's a couple things you can do. These are often used inside of notifications. So as just an example, let me click on notifications rules under your manage formats. I've actually linked in a separate video uh, explaining how to use this specifically in notifications. But if I go into a format that I can edit and I go to my pump details URL, you now have the options to pull this into your notification that gets sent out. So when someone clicks on it, it automatically goes to the correct pump that caused the notification to be sent. Also, if you go back to your attribute, if you hover over it, it says press control to and then click on it to follow the link. So I'm going to do that now. It'll open my browser for me. 
And then this one, since I am on pump three or line three inlet pump, it should automatically update again. Here it goes to the line three inlet pump. And then if you do just want to copy the link, you can always right click on it and say copy cell. And that would copy the text specifically that's in that attribute. We've gone through an example of using URI Builder to switch a asset swappable Pie Vision display to a specific element in your AF structure. This can be useful when you have notifications and you want to create a web link that is specific to that asset which created the notification. Follow the link to learn more about using this with notifications.